Reservists from the U.S. Armed Forces prepare for search and rescue operations. They've been asked to join relief efforts along the Gulf Coast of Texas after Hurricane Harvey turned into a tropical storm, and Houston saw one of the largest downpours in U.S. history. I authorized the deployment of all of the Texas National Guard uh, to address the challenges that Texans are facing all the way from Corpus Christi to Houston, Texas. We need to recognize it's going to be a new normal. It will be a new and different normal for this entire region. Uh, but we will not stop uh, until we get as far as we can. That task could be difficult, with large parts of the Lone Star State now unrecognizable. Floodwaters have reached roofs of single-story houses, and all major highways are affected in the Houston area. Some 30,000 residents of the country's fourth largest city are expected to be left temporarily homeless. Rescue teams are working around the clock to bring people to safety, some of whom are survivors of Hurricane Katrina. This convention center was once used as a shelter for refugees from the previous major disaster. 12 years ago was Katrina, uh, which was in 2005. So here we are 12 years later um, with Hurricane Harvey. So um, we, just, we just wanted to, to, to help. Heavy rains have also reached neighboring Louisiana, where President Trump has declared a state of emergency and residents brace for Harvey-related flooding.